Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jess, your host for Mondays on the Beaver Bunch, and this week we are talking about cheating, which is kind of a rough subject. So before I jump into that, I wanted to remind everyone that tomorrow, August 11th, is Mary's birthday. So if you get two seconds, five seconds, send her a message, send her a comment, anything, just wishing her a happy birthday. Um, I have I have the whole day planned out and I'm stoked, so it's gonna be fun. Um, yeah, don't forget if you get a second. All right, let's move into cheating 101 and etiquette, protocol, whatever. Keep in mind that these are my opinions and my opinions alone and how people feel and justify cheating is relative to the situation and the person or people involved. Okay, so with that said, I want to sort of give you guys kind of a, a backstory on my experience with cheating. Now, I've never actually been a cheater myself, but I've been the person that people, yes, more than one, people have come to that have been in relationships and they've cheated on their partners with me. That does not excuse my actions. I am still in the same realm as as a cheater and it's, I don't know, it's, it's not okay. It's just not okay. And my personal opinion is that there are many different ways of cheating and to cheat and I don't, I don't condone a partner making out with someone. I don't condone any sort of physical intimacy with anyone else, um, it's just not okay. And even emotional cheating is not good. It's, it's probably one of the worst forms of cheating. I mean, if you're with someone but you're thinking about somebody else and you're emotionally connected to somebody else, you should probably reevaluate the relationship that you're in. Yes. Yes. And typically, I would say and this is, this is what's happened most often with, with my experiences, cheating tends to be a catalyst to ending a relationship because the relationships that, like, I had somebody cheat on me, but we were in, we were stuck, we were in this relationship, and it was really bad for both parties, and for some reason we just didn't know how to end the relationship, and finally there was this this explosion and she cheated on me and she knew that that was it. That was end all, be all, cheat on me and, and I'm done. My recommendation for anyone and everyone, when you first get into a relationship, talk about it. Talk about where you stand as far as cheating is concerned so that you're on the same page and you don't go out one night and find out you're on different pages. That's not a good place. That That's not a place you want to be. So, yes, talk, communicate, be open, be honest. And the first question, I think that I, I sort of answered that, I suppose. But the first question is, is doing things with a boy while you are in a lesbian relationship still considered cheating? First of all, a person is a person, regardless of what is in their pants. Yes. If you mess around with a boy, regardless of whether you consider yourself a lesbian, which is sort of contradictory in and of itself, but yes, it's, he's, he's a person. He's, yeah, he counts. So if you do something with a boy, you're cheating. And if your partner knows and she is okay with it, like I said, be open, be honest, communicate. That's, that's it. That's all you got to do. And the second question is, what's the best way to handle or end a relationship in which cheating has taken place? If you are the person who has cheated, let's say it was a complete accident, it was, it was a fluke, and you don't know what came over you, it was, I don't know. I mean, obviously, if, if you went so far as to cheat on your partner, then something's going on in your head and you probably should sit down and discuss those things with your partner, right? And I do, I guess I, I do think that accidents can occur, but 
it takes a lot of time to build that trust back up. And unless you are willing to invest that time, the relationship is probably over once, once the cheating has happened. And how to, how to end a relationship when, when cheating has happened, if you are the person who's been cheated on, for me, that's easy. I, I just don't put up with it. I don't condone it, regardless of what I have invested in the relationship. And that, that may or may not include, you know, uh, items that you've purchased together, houses, apartments, um, movies, CDs. Just pack your stuff and go somewhere else. Do something else with your life. Don't, don't sit around. If you're not willing to invest the time to fix the relationship, just get out of it. Just get out of it. I know it's easier said than done, but the best way is to remove yourself from the situation. And only you can decide the best way to do that. Yeah, cheating, cheating's rough. It definitely takes a toll on a relationship and on an individual person because I know a lot of people who have been cheated on it in the past who have become slightly jaded because of that. I guess my advice for cheating is always, always keep an open line of communication. Um, be as compassionate as possible regardless of whether you are the person who has cheated or you were the one cheated on. And remember that people, I mean, we are such a small community that if you can, if you can end a relationship with tact, regardless of whether you cheated, and you can, you can hold yourself up with as much dignity as you, you can possibly muster up, um, yeah, that's, that's the best way to, to end a relationship Give, give the person that you were with as much respect as possible. Give them the space that they need and live your life and move on. That's it. That's my video. I hope you guys have a phenomenal week. Remember, again, tomorrow's Mary's birthday, and I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye, guys.